on your back with your legs up as if you're sitting in a chair. So shins vertical, thighs, sorry, shins horizontal, thighs vertical. Keep your shoulder blades pinched together on your back. Allow your legs to windshield wiper from side to side while forcing the shoulder blades to stay down on the ground. If you feel your shoulder rounding as you do this, then you have to maybe reduce the range of motion and not allow your thighs to go as far over to the side. The goal here is to keep the shoulders glued to the floor as the legs go over, no matter what the range of motion is. Face down with legs extended and arms overhead, you're going to alternate lifting opposite arm, opposite leg as high off the floor as you can. Allow your head to stay down so the neck muscles aren't assisting with the lift. Keep your thumbs up as you do these lifts. Try to lift from the heel and the thumb simultaneously to get those opposite limbs off the ground as high as possible. For lower body rolling, you're going to allow your hands or your arms to stay neutral with the goal of using your legs or your lower body to roll you from your belly to your back and then back onto your belly. So you want to curl your heel to your rear end, then lift that side thigh off the ground across your body. On the, on the return, you want to lift your leg up again, reach across your body. Allow your upper body and head just to go with the motion as you go through these reps. Assume a quadruped position. From this position, you're going to reach your hand through the space that your same side arm and leg make. From that reach, going as far as you can, then you're going to take your hand to the back of your head and you're going to open your elbow up as if you're trying to get it to point to the ceiling. Allow your eyes to follow your hand or your elbow in this position. The biggest thing to be aware of as you go through this upper body range of motion exercise is that your hips stay fixed. So do not allow your hips to fix or to swish or shift side to side as you do this. The motion should be mainly in the upper back. It is okay, as you can see, to allow that elbow to bend as you reach through. 